So our program is designed to um, be completed in six months. And there are four sections to the program. So the first section of the program, we look at the theories and the philosophy, code of ethics, standards of practice that all are the base of holistic nursing and nurse coaching. Um, and we really take a deep dive with our students in creating um, a heightened sense of self-awareness. So again, it's that honoring the nurse, honoring that student, you know, um, helping them understand themselves on a much deeper level. Because once you're able to do that, then you're much better able to engage in self-care and, and, you know, as a re self-responsibility. Um, we often see self-care as something that um, is a selfish thing. That's, you know, it's changing. We're seeing attitudes shifting, but it still really is something that particularly women struggle with, um, especially when we look at, you know, nurses who come into the profession because they're nurturing, have that nurturing tendency in the beginning, right? They want to care for people. So they care for their patients all day. They go home, they care for their family. They care for their husband. They care for their friends, you know? And then you get to a point where you're completely depleted. So it's understanding what self-care really does mean and how to implement that into every single moment of your day. So, you know, whether you're walking from one client's bed to another, or you're driving from a, one client's home to another, or whatever the case may be, it's how can you engage in mindfulness and presence and self-nurturing during every moment that you, that you exist. Um, so we really take a, a deep dive into that. And then we move from there into the second component of the program where we start to look at um, different behavioral change models, coaching and what it means to be a nurse coach. And then we move from there looking into complementary therapies and really some of the more common ones that um, we'll see clients showing up with uh, just so that, you know, they, so that we have a, a Bases or a foundation, and we understand we're not necessarily training our students in complementary therapies within our comprehensive program, but we're giving you the foundation so that when somebody comes and talks to you about it, you understand what they're talking about. Um, and you might be able to give some guidance in terms of, you know, how to better implement those things into your lifestyle. Um, and then the latter part of our program, we really look at what it means to be a nurse in independent practice. We obviously don't give any um, legal advice or anything like that, um, but we can certainly talk about our own collective experiences, working with our regulatory bodies, with the Canadian Nurses Association, um, and yeah, just some of the things that, that we've learned along the way that might help students that are interested in private practice. And I think one of the, you know, the key things that I would say, or the, I guess the best piece of advice is if you are a nurse and you're interested in private practice, don't feel that you need to have everything perfect. And I am, you know, I'm, I'm guilty. I've done the same thing. It's like, I gotta have the perfect website and I have to have the perfect office and the perfect this and the, you know, perfect name for my, my um, nurse business. But you don't, like just as long as you have everything in place, um, you know, in terms of how you're going to approach your client and what tools you're going to use, how you're going to um, store your client records, that sort of thing. So some of those things that are really pertinent to client confidentiality, um, that's really all you need to get started. The, our vision or, or goal is that nurses will be able to um, honor themselves in the process of honoring those that they care for. So we're hoping that we're able to help nurses learn how to bring these, um, you know, this shift in mindset, these new tools or ways of being into their own practice, be it in the hospital or institution anywhere or private practice. And then being able to share that with their client as role models, you know. Um, so what, what we do uh, in our own life is you know, is role model for our clients. So what they see us doing, if they see us as, you know, well-grounded, healthy, um, balanced, whole nurses, then they're going to want to know how to do that. And when we bring that into our own life, we're better able to share that with other people and our clients. Absolutely. So at the end of the six months, when you've successfully completed the program, um, students receive a certificate in holistic nursing and nurse coaching. And that certificate um, 
shows that we have been accredited and peer reviewed through the American Holistic Nursing Association, and they've awarded us 87 continuing nursing education hours. Um, we have also been accredited by the Canadian Nursing Association, and that was just recently this year, so we were really happy to come back after the holidays and have that news. Um, and we've been accredited with them for 135 hours. And we're also recognized by the Canadian Plastic Nursing Association. So when students complete our program, they have a certificate from us, which is fine. That's all they need to show that they've taken a peer reviewed accredited program. But they also have that option to go on and apply to write the board certification in both holistic nursing and nurse coaching. So we're really proud to be able to offer that to our students. Um, and that our program is all inclusive. So when you're done, you have all the hours you need to do that. Yeah. So we've had a lot of interest from LPNs as well, wanting to take our program. And we know that a lot of um, LPNs are working at the bedside in institutions, be that hospital, nursing homes, or clinics. So we really wanted to um, have another option for them. So um, as I said earlier, our the latter part of our program is focused on uh, what it means to be a nurse in independent practice, because that seems to be uh, most of the RNs that we're attracting are looking for a shift in practice or looking for something different, looking for independent practice. Um, but we really wanted to be able to address the needs of uh, licensed practical nurses as well, or registered practical nurses. So what we are doing in the latter part of that program is we're offering two streams. So one stream for your registered nurses, nurse practitioners, independent practice nurses, um, and then another stream for LPNs or again, any nurse that wants to take what they're learning into the bedside. So you can, when you get to part four of the program, you can make that choice on which stream that you would like to take. 